Welcome, welcome to the release of the Social Contract version 3.4. So I'm going to be quick with this video. The main change, pretty much the only major change, is Article 8, the charity market. So this is a democratic charity market created to dynamically allocate funds collected from a tithe tax. The tithe tax is a tax on your taxes whose rate is 0 to 10 percent depending on how many residents participated in the caucus charity market that year. So 0 percent is 0, 100 percent participation is the 10 percent tax. Each vote in the market will hold a budget value of the total tithe tax collection which uh, presently is about thirty dollars per person per month divided by the number of participants equals dollars per vote per year. So that would be 30 times 12 is about $360 per vote. A minimum of 20 votes is required to receive funds to prevent people from voting for their own fake charities. Buying and selling votes is prohibited. So you can't uh, vote for a charity that will like pay you 90% of whatever. That's illegal because it defeats the whole purpose of the charity market, which is a market for charities. Exactly what you would assume it is. So... This is during the voting process. There is a caucus vote right here, the caucus charity. Maybe I'll bold the caucus part. And um, it works exactly as the direct democracy approval process is. It's right under the large public projects. So this will be a very busy day, as you can tell. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe it'll spill over into June, July 4th. Or I don't know, it could be a whole day might make a whole day out of it so uh caucus voting the counting is just instant it's just done the second you, you stand up and be counted so you could definitely do all of the voting and all of the counting in one day ideally um so yeah there'd be like 15 20 uh charities and then everyone goes and votes for their favorite charity and that charity gets $360 per vote roughly as it stands now. I believe that was with a 40% participation. So a lot of people won't bother. They're like, I don't really care about charities. It's not really important to me. I don't feel like wasting my time because the whole process might take uh, two hours, something like that. So if they don't feel like w waiting or if they don't feel like participating for those two hours then the participation rate goes down and thus the tithe tax rate goes down and the bureaucracy is very light on this you just get this this added to your monthly tax rate so if you're a business paying a high tax your tax rate might go up like three to five percent and if you are just an individual who is paying you know a hundred dollars a month in tax less than your UBI, uh, you would be taxed, you know, three to five percent on your one hundred dollars and you would thus be paying like an extra five dollars a month for the charity market. But due to the unequal taxation, uh, your charity market vote is worth thirty dollars a month, not five dollars per month. So yeah, that is pretty much it for version three point four. Uh, that's the main change and the electricity tax was adjusted slightly the landlord tax landlord tax was reduced a bit uh, it was a little high at the 16,000 I think the 16,000 was like 4700 or something like that and uh, the 1,000 square feet was pushed down to zero so um, anyway that's that's pretty much it I'll, I'll throw the PDF and the mathematics in the video description. And, uh, yeah. Thank you, and have a nice day. Jesus!
Christ.